your brothers and sisters, uh, those who are present here, and also those who are watching us on live streaming. Uh, pleasant good evening to everybody. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> uh, there are two parts of our readings, and that is that uh, our Lord healed uh, many uh, sick people, the paralyzed, and then uh, those uh, who were uh, also uh, uh, not only paralyzed but uh, sick people who were in need of forgiveness. And then, towards the end, our Lord uh, uh, continued to instruct His apostles to go out to other places and to uh, evangelize meaning uh, to spread his teachings, especially uh, the good news. And what is this good news? That their master had come in order to save us and also from sin and death. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, tayo din po ay mga apostol na uh, pinapadala uh, sa uh, iba't ibang bansa for those missionaries. And also, um, of course, the priests and uh, the uh, uh, bishops and the popes, these are all apostles of the church. But we should never, never forget that the lay people, you who are here, and all those who are viewing us, uh, you are also apostles of our Lord. So let us not forget that. And, uh, well, we, uh, the uh, people serving in the church, are full-time uh, apostles and uh, that is why our Lord instructed that uh, you should be simple and you should not uh, uh, you should so that you will be uh, ready always to teach uh, people about my uh, uh, teachings and the commandments of God so kayo din po mga kapatid ay mga apostol. Why? Because when you were baptized, a Christian, Catholic, then you are also apostles of Christ. Alam niyo lalong lalo na ngayon ay uh, uh, kokonti ang mga pare at uh, mga missionaries and therefore your uh, uh, contribution as apostles um, <clears throat> is very important. Alam niyo may mga nagiging missionero pa, mga lay couples I met, and uh, they uh, work in uh, Papua New Guinea. Uh, I met them in uh, uh, a church here of the SVD, the Kamuning Sacred Heart. And uh, they told me that they were on vacation. So, very, very uh, uh, praiseworthy and inspiring. And, um, of course, many people, uh, lay people, are also uh, in, involved in uh, the church and parishes. For example, may mga lay ministers uh, tayo, well, here in our shrine also. And uh, of course, our lector, uh, commentator, um, and uh, uh, those who are members of uh, various parish organizations, Catholic Women's League, uh, of course, the yes, uh, Knights of Columbus and, uh, of course, uh, this uh, Butler's uh, Guild. 
and uh, many other other members of the church uh, who know that uh, uh, they have to also contribute their talent, their time, and uh, their treasure. Alam niyo po, minsan mayroon nagsabi sa akin tungkol sa mga lay ministers, nagyayabangan sila <coughs> kasi sabi nung isa, alam niyo ang tawag sa akin uh, sa parokya namin ay uh, uh, Monsignor, sabi niya. Monsignor, kasi ako ay uh, nag... Uh, Uh, bibigay ng communion at uh, ang tawag uh, sa akin ay Monsignor eh sabi naman nung isa mas mataas ang katungkulan ko sa simbahan kasi ako ay uh, doktor pero uh, pag nag lay minister ako pag nakikita ko ako ay tinatawag na kardinal kasi uh, ako ay uh, nangangaral uh, sa mga uh, communities, renewal communities. Eh sabi naman nung isa, pero ako ang pinakamataas sa inyong dalawa. Bakit? Kasi ang tawag sa akin ay uh, uh, Diyos. Sabi, Diyos? Paano nangyari yan? Well, alam ninyo, ang aking uh, ginagawa sa simbahan ay kolektor. At uh, uh, alam ninyo, pag uh, ang aking trabaho, ang aking uh, uh, profession ay isang, uh, isang uh, sabi niya, sales representative. Kaya pag uh, kumakatok ako sa mga pintuan ng mga uh, uh, tao, mga parishioners, alam ninyo, pag binubuksan yung bintana, ay yung uh, pintuan, at nakikita ako, sumisigaw nila, sumisigaw sila at sinasabi, Diyos ko, Diyos ko, ikaw na naman. No? <laughs> so, so, tignan ninyo. <laughs> so, ako ang pinakamataas sa inyo. Well, of course, that is only uh, a joke of these uh, ministers. But, uh, you see, we have already these lay ministers and they are giving communion not only in church, but also to go out and give uh, these, uh, the hosts uh, to those who are sick and even the dying. So uh, these are ways and means of being an apostle in the church today. And not only that, my dear brothers and sisters, but it is also Uh, what uh, you can do for your church or your parish. That is why, uh, to paraphrase the uh, uh, former president, John F. Kennedy, we say, we say that uh, uh, do not ask what your church can do for you but rather ask what you can do for your church. So do not just be passive, but think of how you can also uh, insert yourself and how you can uh, also contribute to the apostolate of the church as a lay man, as a lay person. And finally, Maybe this is for all of us. We can also um, join in the apostolate of witnessing. Maybe for some people, they're very busy to involve themselves in the parish or in the church. But this apostolate of witnessing is for all of us Catholics. At ano ang ibig sabihin itong apostolate of witnessing? Apostolate of witnessing is to uh, live in our day-to-day life and uh, 
we uh, evangelize people, we make people come closer to the church by our good example as Christians. Yan ang tinatawag na witnessing of our Christian life. Alam niyo mayroong uh, na sumali sa isang uh, marriage encounter. At doon sa marriage encounter, yung uh, mag-asawa ay uh, nagbago sa kanilang buhay, uh, palaging nag-aaway, at uh, palaging uh, uh, wala sa bahay yung ama at uh, may mga bisyo. But uh, after they had, uh, had that uh, marriage encounter, alam po ninyo, nagbago ang kanilang buhay. And yung mga nakakakita sa kanila, for example, yung mga kapitbahay o yung mga kabarkada nitong lalaki, ay sinabi nila, wow, uh, iba na ang taong ito. Iba na itong mag-asawa. Hindi nakatulad noon na palagi sila nag-aaway. Noon ay uh, mabisyo itong lalaki. But, you know, he has, they have already changed. They've been renewed. And above all, they are also now involved in the activities of the church. So gusto ko rin maging ganon, sabi ng isang couple. So this, my dear brothers and sisters, is witness, witnessing to people, showing the good works that we are doing will inspire people to become better Christian Catholics and also to be closer to God. So today, let us uh, <clears throat> pray that uh, uh, we uh, remember this, our contribution, our work, in our respective parishes or churches. And remember also that when you become face to face with the Lord, our Lord, pag tayo po ay kinuha ni Lord, ay may masasabi din natin that you have done something for the church and for His work of evangelization. Mayroon ba tayong nagawa para sa ating simbahan, para sa misyon, at para sa kapwa-tao natin? So we pray for this intention, brothers and sisters, and let us always remember to be a good Christian, to be a Christian who witness this Christian life will be a blessing to our church. Amen.